hey guys welcome back to my channel so on today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this femme bow yes with crinoline yes to have that femme effect and if you want to learn how to do that keep watching this video so guys i'll be making use of crinoline for this bow because i want it to be very firm and i have uh the length of 4.5 inches but i actually wanted to use the one of 6.5 but i couldn't find it in the market so i'll be making do of what i have which is three inches and two inches which i'll be joining together so i have the width of uh 21 inches that is for the fabric i'm gonna be using for the bow yeah so i'll set this aside and i will join this crinoline together yes so i'll be top stitching twice on the crinoline to make it very flat here yeah, as you can see me doing right here so once i'm done doing that i will turn the first stitch i will cut out the excess remove my pins and i will top stitch on the other part of the crinoline to make this lay down very 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 flat so once i'm done i'll measure out and what i have is exactly 4.5 so what i'm gonna be doing is to get my main fabric pin it down just like this and i'll be marking out that same 4.5 that i have right on the crinoline i'll mark it all out as you can see me i'm using pencil to do that because this is a white fabric and i wouldn't want it to be standing anyway so i'm using my pencil to just make a tiny dot on them so i'm making these dots in order to know where to stitch so once i'm done doing that i'll run my stitch on those places that i marked out which is 4.5 yes so once i'm done doing that i'll use my scissors to cut the excess out then i'll turn it over to the right side making sure that the place i have my stitch is at the middle yes that is not popping up on the upper part of the stuff so once i'm done doing that i'll pass my crinoline inside as you can see me doing right here do it very gently so it doesn't hook in any way so i use my pin to hold the two sides down using my hand to flatten the crinoline and the fabric yes so once i'm done doing that i'll make a stitch right here to the both sides yes i'll cut out the excess as you can see me remove my pin and i will also do it to the other side you can see what i just did right here so after doing that i'll place it both side facing each other just like this use my pin to hold it down again so that it doesn't shift in any way so i'll be top stitching on this right here yeah so once i'm done doing the first top stitch i will also turn it again and do the second one yes then once i am done doing that i will cut out any uh thread which is showing on the fabric or whatever so once i'm done i'm gonna be folding this at the middle just like you can see me doing right here i've already threaded my thread on a needle so i'll hold it right there as you can see me doing right here and i'll use my needle and thread to hold this down very very tightly as you can see me doing right here so once i'm done stitching that i will also wrap this thread on this bow very very well i'll make countless number of tightening with my thread and once i'm done doing that i will also tie it very very tightly why i did that is to secure this so that it doesn't shift or losing in any way so for the fabric i'll be using to cover up i have nine inches for the width and four inches for the length and i'll fold it this way and stitch on the wrong side yes so i'll be folding it to twice like this together i meant to say like this and i'll stitch with half an inch and i will have 1.5 inches so i'll be turning this to the right just like you can see me doing making sure that where i have my stitch is at the middle yeah so this is what i have placing where i have my stitch facing me just like this yes so i'll run a stitch you can actually use your hand to tack 
this but i want to run my stitches on this just like you can see me doing making sure that i'm not stitching on the main bow yes so once i'm done stitching i will cut out the ss and i will turn this to the right yes i'll make sure that the the place the place i have my stitches is inside and not showing on the outside so you do this very gently so that it doesn't you don't stain your fabric you can see as i'm doing this very very gently so i do not stain my fabric so once i'm done doing that this is what i have so i'll be getting another fabric that will be serving as the tail and i have the width as five inches and i have the length of this as 30 inches you can go as high as you want 40 50 depending on the person so i'll fold this together and use my pin to secure it at the place i have my opening i'll mark three inches use my ruler to connect this together yes so i'll use my ruler to connect this together just like this and i'll use my scissors to cut this out then i'll remove my pins and i will run a stitch yes right through from that up to the down part but leaving 1.5 inches so i can be able to use that to turn this to the right side yes so i'll use half an inch to run my stitches just like this then top stitch and also go down again leaving 1.5 inches yeah so once i'm done doing that i will turn this to the right side yeah so i will gently turn this fabric to the right side using my scissors remember you have this pointy area so you can use anything that can be able to bring out the pointy effect right there so once i'm done doing that i will iron this and top stitch at that part i have 1.5 making the coming very very close to the edge and our top stitch we have the opening of 1.5 inches and that is what i have right there so i will take this, this is what i have here i will take it and pass it through the under under yeah you can see me passing it through the down part of that uh the uh the bow as you can see me doing and i'll try to make this as equal as possible like this yes so in order to beautify this yes you can use any beautification of your choice any applique of your choice but i use sequence for the upper part of the gown i'm making yes so i'll be using sequence to beautify this so i measured i have 1.5 but i'll be cutting out two inches on fold that is four inches while it's not on fold then i'll be using half an inch and at the end of the day i'll have 1.5 once i'm done stitching it with half an inch yes so i'll use half an inch to run a stitch on this fabric you can see right here so once i'm done i'll turn it to the right side yes now make sure that where i run my stitch is actually facing me so i can use my needle and thread to stitch it and afterwards i'll turn it to the other side yes i'll turn it just like i did to the other one so i'll carefully run a stitch with my needle and thread on this sequence i'll do it twice or as many as you want so far as you have your stitches very tightly and neat then i'll cut out the excess i have there so after i'm done i'm going to be turning where i have my stitches on the inside as you can see me doing so you gently do yours yes so after i'm done turning it to the right side this is what i have so i'll thread my needle again making a knot yeah so making a knot at the thread the tip of the thread and i'll be stitching all of this together making sure that it is not seen in any way not like if you stitch here you give one inch gap and your thread will be showing no make sure you stitch it very very closely to each other so it doesn't show in anywhere just like you can see me doing make it to be very very tight stitch all of them together so it doesn't move in any way this is for a child and even if it's not for a kid 
you make sure you do this even for an elderly person so it doesn't pull out in any way so this is what i have i'll be cutting out any thread if seen then i'll be getting the gown i'm making sure that where i have my applique is at the middle which is the zipper part yes then i'll be using my pin because this is actually detachable but i forgot to get the pin that is needed for a detachable bow yes so i'll still get it in market but just because of this tutorial i'll be using a pin to hold it down so that you can see how it looks the end product looks so i'll be using my pin to hold this down making sure that the uh applique is facing the zipper so at this point if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave the comments at the comment section if this is helpful to you and subscribe to my channel bye